Hey, Shalom, I'm Israel. First off, I would like to say, Call Halal, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Also, would like to say peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the Akim that's pushing this word and all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sisters that watch and believe, Shalom to you as well. Uh, I just want to come with another quick lesson, just going into how uh, you read Hebrew Edomites. Uh, divide and conquer tactics is no longer working because all through the spirit of this word going out throughout the four corners of the earth our people are rising up now the scriptures do uh, talk about in genesis i believe at the 49th chapter it says that judah shall rise up first because judah that's the head tribe but all through the spirit we're seeing the northern kingdom which the northern kingdom consists of what would be known as the the, the so-called latino and native american tribes you know they're starting to wake up to the fact that they're the Israelites and to the fact that they have a mortal enemy. You read Hebrew Edomites, man, the self-proclaimed white people. So even though uh, through our history, you know, especially in the Americas, uh, Esau, the so-called white man, he's always tried to divide the so-called Negro from the rest of the tribes, meaning to divide the so-called black man in America from the so-called Latinos and the so-called natives. Through this word, through the spirit of this word coming out, brothers getting built up in the spirit of this knowledge, the, the tribes is all coming back together. Basically, uh, Amos 9 and 11 is coming to pass. The, the breaches of the house of David, is the, 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 it's all coming back together. You know, so it's beautiful, man. So no matter uh, how many little tactics that Esau tries to do to divide and conquer, it's not going to stop the Lord's people. And I'm talking about all 12 tribes from waking up, man. To where you're going to have more and more of the northern kingdom, you know, cursing you damn devils out, man. So it's beautiful. And we always have to point out, too, just because of the fact that, you know, the, 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 the so-called uh, Latin tribes and, and, you know, they 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 have a, a lighter skin complexion and they speak Spanish. They somehow think that they're better than the tribe of Judah. But I'm going to read this here. And hopefully this will be edifying. This is a quick lesson. I'm just on the lunch break, so I just want to say a few words. I'm here in Jeremiah 50 and 33. It says, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And the children of Israel, that represents the northern kingdom or the, 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 the sons of Joseph. You know, it says in the children of Judah, which Judah, that's the head tribe of the whole nation, but also the head tribe of the southern kingdom. Which the southern kingdom consists of uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, which would be the so-called Negroes, uh, West Indians, and Haitians today. I'll read it again. Jeremiah 15 and 33. It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. So the scriptures right here, man, it says that the children of Israel of Israel and the children of Judah they were oppressed together now we do know that in the history you know after King Solomon's uh, 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 kingdom after King Solomon died and after uh, Rehoboam and Jeroboam his sons were out of power we know that the uh, the, the, the kingdom the, the, the nation of Israel was split the, uh, the southern kingdom uh, went into the, the Babylonian captivity And the northern kingdom uh, Went into captivity under the Assyrians But at one point You know we were all together You know in the land of Israel Dwelling amongst each other all together But we, we've been also oppressed together You know Because we know that the tribes have been scattered Throughout all nations Throughout the four corners of the earth But we were all oppressed Whether you know, we've been in different hands of these different uh, 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 rulers in these different empires. But today we've been under the hands of you damn red Hebrew Edomites, the self-proclaimed white people who refuse to let us go, man. Unto this day, they refuse to let us go, you know. So I know Esau, his main weapon, of course, his blessing is the sword, but also he uses uh, deception and lies as a weapon, but also he he loves to to pit our people one against each other man you know divide and conquer that's always been a, a a tactic that these edomites used to be able to swallow us up and put us into captivity but those tactics they're not working anymore man because the, even though uh, you know a, a lot of 
the northern kingdom, you so-called Latinos and natives, y'all as simple as all hell, man. Because at least Judah, you know, they ain't going to just take things. At least Judah at some point, even though they simple too, they'll at least get to a point where they'll start figuring things out. But all through the spirit of Judah waking up, the, the rest of the, the, the tribes are waking up as well. The Latin tribes are waking up as well, man, to the fact that they're in captivity, to the fact uh, that uh, the Esau is the devil. To the fact that America's great Babylon, man. So you can't just pull the, the wool over our people's eyes anymore. That's why the scripture says the man of sin is being revealed. You know, but that shows that prophecy is, is manifesting in the fact that all of the tribes are, are starting to wake up. And it's only a matter of time before the Lord going to put the spirit on the tribes to really start coming together and banding together to, 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 to curse you Edomites out, man. And you see it. Uh, first off, through the through the brothers out there preaching the word through the various camps, you know, you might have mostly, you know, the, the southern kingdom in the camps, but you have camps that have a, a lot of the, the, the northern kingdom, you know, and that's a beautiful thing, man. Brothers putting up shows out of the, the northern tribes who I'm referring to, you know, they're, they're, they're preaching the word in Spanish. So that's allowing the word to elevate at a higher level, man, to 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 wake all of the tribes up in these latter days, man. So it's a beautiful time that we living in, man. But I want to get the other prophecy. I'm going to go to Ezekiel. Uh, so like I'm just finding the scripture. I think it's there it go. Yeah, this is Ezekiel 37 and 7, Salaki, Ezekiel 37 and 16. It says, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. So even though Esau, he's always tried to divide us by color, by uh, the fact that the, the conquistadors, when they conquered the northern uh, tribes, they forced them to speak Spanish. Esau has always tried to put a divide in our people, making us think that we're somehow uh, this holy, this totally different nation of people. When there are variations to our spirit, but we have the same common spirit. We came from the same forefather, man. We're Israelites at the end of the day. And that's another reason, too, uh, why uh, we, we got the, 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 the sign when we go out on the highways and the byways and teach. So just like the prophecy is going to say, when uh, people come up, that's what within the tribes they gonna want to inquire as to what that sign is about and then the brothers who have this knowledge we can break these things down we can wake our people up to the fact that they're israelites man to where esau he ain't gonna be able to divide us and conquer us no more through his deception it says moreover thou son of man take thee one stick and write upon it for judah and for the children of israel his companions then take another stick and write upon it for joseph the stick of Ephraim and for all the house of Israel, his companions. So it's no longer a divide in the time that we're coming into today, man. Through this word, the Lord is bringing us back. You know, the northern kingdom, the so called Latinos and natives, and then the southern kingdom, you so called Negroes, uh, West Indians, and Haitians. We're all coming back together in the last times, man. We're banding together as brothers, man. All through the spirit, too. Even for, for Israelites that may not really uh, understand and, and know about this truth, that spirit out there of just somehow of, of, of you see more and more, even with couples, you may see a, a so-called black man with a, a so-called Latino woman and vice versa, a so-called Latino man with a so-called black woman. But it's all beautiful because we from the same nation, the nation of Israel. It says, verse 17, and join them one to another into one stick. So we all coming together as one big family. Even though the scripture says uh, we're a company of nations. You know, we're a nation of nations. But the Lord is bringing us all together under one banner of this word, man. And it says, and they shall become one in thine hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us what thou meanest by these? So that's what I was saying And we seeing the prophecies come to pass When brothers out there on the highways and the byways speaking And we got that plank of wood With the tribes listed You know our people are inquiring Like hey man what, what's that about You know you know, I see uh, 
the Mexicans, the so-called Mexicans, that's Ishakar. You know, I didn't know that I was from the tribe of Ishakar. So all through the prophecies coming to pass, our people are waking up to their true nationality, man. So Esau, he's not going to be able to continue to divide and conquer us like the damn devil he is, you know, always trying to drive a wedge between us, man, because in different parts, mainly like I know L.A. and Long Beach, I know it's it's been a lot of, uh, of violence. You have a lot of Mexican gangs out there uh, killing uh, so-called uh, Negroes, man. You know, and we know ultimately it's the curses that has us warring with each other. But through the spirit, little by little, man, we're all coming back together through this word. It says, verse 19, say unto them, thus saith the Lord power. Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, because Ephraim, which is uh, the son of Joseph. Ephraim is the head tribe of the northern kingdom. And it says, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in my hand. So the Lord's bringing the tribes back together. And the sticks were up, uh, and the sticks were on thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes. So right before these Edomites' eyes, man, the nation of Israel is coming back together, man. You Edomites are getting bred out, man, because their birth rates are the lowest ever. All you see is Jake popping up everywhere, man. Jake with the white girl. Jake here. Jake Jake every damn where, man. Like the brothers in, in, in the Bay, they say it's a Jake over, man. But more so, it's beautiful because the tribes is all coming back together under, under one banner as one big happy family, man. So, so-called Mexican, so-called Negro, you don't need to look down on your brother. Of course, there's differences and things within our spirit that we can't relate on because... Esau has divided and conquered us throughout all of these different years, but all through the spirit of this word, we're coming back together, man. We're Israelites. So, with all being said, I, I think that's the point I wanted to make. I just wanted to uh, uh, just exhort uh, brothers, you know, within the nation of the various tribes, man. Hey, it's a beautiful thing that the Lord is bringing us back together, and our enemy, he's no longer gonna be able to divide, to divide and conquer us, man, no more, because the truth is out there. So with all being said, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect.